Taken by Andrew. It's fallen for Whiteman. He fires it back in and he wasn't too far away from Ben Whiteman. In the afternoon where Oldham are going to need to make their chances count as they did against Fulham in the last round. Here's O'Grady. Now Missaloo. Just blocked as O'Grady tries to come in and goes for goal, but it's too close to Morosi. That was better from Oldham. It's the best we've seen from the away side so far. Here comes the in-swinger, the other back across has fallen. Kyle, what a save that was to deny Coppinger. Terrific effort from James Coppinger. And that's the closest that either side have come to breaking through. Played in by Whiteman again to Kane. Shields the ball well from Missalou. There is Alfie May. That's hobbling, but it's not too bad now. Plays it through to Marquis, who rounds the goalkeeper. Oh, it's an unbelievable clearance off the line. Well, they're getting closer, Doncaster Rovers, but what a piece of defending that was from the olden captain, Peter Clark. Doncaster can push forward again in search of this goal that would break the deadlock here. And sadly, up, he's done well! And Everson with the save. Well, he was a terrific save. Did well to turn and make the space and get across in. And the header across the face of goal. A glorious opportunity for Baxter. And now Hamer. Granger just holding his run. Hamer continues to carry it. Here is Branger. Baxter on the edge of the penalty area. Branger going alone, though. Still going Branger. Branger! Oh, it's a good save! Baxter couldn't get there. And then on the follow-up, it's gathered by Morosi. Lovely play, though, from Johan Branger. I haven't seen much from Doncaster in the last few moments as an attacking force, but maybe we will now with Alfie May. Marquis in the centre. Wilkes is in there as well. Now Kane. Now Whiteman. Oh, it's in! It's a fabulous goal from Ben Whiteman. Everson is finally beaten. Ben Whiteman chanced his arm from distance as he did in the first half, but this was a significantly better strike. And it is Doncaster Rovers who get the breakthrough. Now Hamer. Ranger again. That's good play. Missalou. Just couldn't control it. Was got it back again. Oh, he's denied by the post. Missalou. And then Lang puts it wide. Really unlucky. Christopher Missalou off the woodwork. Is this his moment? The Pomaceno through the wall, and it's fallen Kiley for Peter Clark. Oldham Athletic have their late goal again. And 3,800 Oldham Athletic supporters go absolutely wild. But the League Two side have come again, and it's Peter Clark who proves what a threat he can be at both ends of the pitch. Kick is whipped in and beaten away by Everson. Good effort from Andrew. It was certainly on its way. Here's the corner. Wilkes was in there. Oh, it's off the crossbar. There's an almighty scramble, and in the end, it's the Pomaceno who gets it away. Well, there's bodies everywhere. Marquis is down on the goal line for Doncaster. There's a word in the ear of the referee. And Doncaster Rovers have themselves a penalty. But it's the goal scorer, Ben Whiteman, to surely win it for Doncaster. And he tucks it into the corner of the net. And Doncaster Rovers are surely on their way to the fifth round of the FA Cup for the first time in over 60 years. A really tough one to take for Oldham Athletic, having just got themselves back into the contest. Now Marquis. And that is it, Doncaster Rovers are through 
to the fifth round of the FA Cup for the first time in over 60 years. The brave run of Oldham Athletic and Peter Wilde comes to an end in somewhat controversial circumstances with Whiteman's late penalty. But Grant McCann becomes the first manager since the mid-1950s to guide Doncaster Rovers into the last 16 of the FA Cup. Final score here, Doncaster 2, Oldham 1.